drive this beautiful 272 Baja Islander. It's a cold day here at the Lake of the Ozarks and it's windy. So we'll try to do this quick. First off, see our trim gauge here. See it coming up. Hopefully you can hear it as well. Oil pressure is good. Tachometer is working good. Fuel gauge good. Speedo, we won't know until we accelerate. So we're just idling. Looks like our temp's good and our volts are good. Got our trim tab displays here. Buttons and switches. We have our navigation light. In the middle's off. Anchor light, stop the night down. Bilge pump, all of our accessories, courtesy lights, engine room light, electric engine hatch. Hopefully you can hear that. Right here we have our trailer trim. That's to take on the uh, throttle. This is as high as we'd want to trim up while boating. The trailer takes it all the way out of the water. Then our trim tabs. Right over here is our blower. Hopefully you can hear that coming. Uh, hopefully you heard that. Kill switches here. Keys here. Okay. So shifting. Real smooth. I like this. This is what's on my boat. Neutral's in the middle. Forward. Neutral. Reverse. Okay. Always make sure your throttle is all the way back before shifting. Otherwise, it goes boom, boom. Just bangs and clangs. Let's go ahead and start the accelerate. an opportunity to show you the difference in sound if you can hear me now accessory three's captain's call so let me come back to neutral hopefully you can hear that I hope the video shows how good that sounds so then we let our RPM come back down off hopefully you heard that difference accessory one is the depth finder 
two and four, no idea. I just learned accessory two is the stereo. for a little while. My hand's on the manifold. She's nice and cool. I know she's pumping good water. All right. Checking out your Baja. Taking a look inside and outside. First off, I got your lights on to show that they work. Looking here at the drive and the exhaust. Everything looks pretty good. It's like it bumped up to something in the very front. That's nothing. There's a, nothing in the gel coat. Just kind of a knock on the rub rail there. I got Billy cleaning the rub rail with acetone, making that pretty, so we'll see him shortly. But hopefully you can tell how shiny this boat is. You can kind of see the reflection. Sorry, I did this Saturday morning because we had so many people here. I just wanted to keep people out of it. So yeah, you can definitely see what's in the background in the gel coat here. Got your light on up here. And that's just one bulb with a split. There's Billy cleaning the rub rail. Hey, Bill. Come around the port side. That looks awesome. The only thing from a gel coat standpoint I ever saw was a little rub right here. See, it doesn't slap my fingers, just a little rub. Nothing bad. So what we're doing is using acetone just to clean up that rub rail. It's uh, essentially fingernail polish remover. It makes it clean. So let's jump up in here. So as long as this video is good, we'll have the sun pad sent to be redone. They're just right down the road. See your lights on here. Kick my shoes off. So I discovered that there's a lot more cool stuff in this boat that I may not have mentioned after I got to play with it. I think you got courtesy lights up under here. See the vinyl's all nice. As I mentioned, other than that sun pad. Right here you got what I call a mom box. Put suntan lotion and wallets. Got your stereo here. I know you heard that on the drive. Starboard side chair. Drop out bolster. Just pull this handle. It slides right out. So you can sit up in here nice and comfortably. Looking at the dash here. So your courtesy light button's here. Horn, hopefully you heard that. Electric engine hatch. We kind of ran through the accessory. Turn those lights back off. Blower, hopefully you can hear this. I can hear it. So, back to finding a bunch of stuff. So, snap-on covers, which are all in great shape. I just went through each individual snap, and it's not missing any. Uh, full mooring cover. I turned the light on in here. Bow filler cushions. For that uh, rain top, in this bag is a nice enclosure, so it'll make this entire cockpit into a pop-up camper. All these poles are cover poles. Got storage in the floor here. A windbreak door here. You have an aft filler cushion in there that I'm not sure if it's ever been out of there. It looks nice and storage in there. Coming up into the bow. All the bow seating looks nice. The vinyl looks nice. Cockpit cover also. We've already looked at the motor on the other video. So as long as this looks good, you give me the go-ahead. We'll send the sun pad over to be fixed. Send you a picture before it ships. See you later. What I wanted to do here is take one more second, make another video. So your battery's here. Everything's hardwired in here. I'd definitely recommend adding a switch and a second battery. Looking at your motor, everything looks nice. Um, here's that top I was telling you about. So let's say this battery was to go dead. You left something on. Without that switch, it's got a safety backup system right here. You just hook jumper cables or another battery to that, and that'll open the hatch, okay? 
But if you installed a second battery with a switch, ran the wires through here, that's what I'd recommend. Just thought I'd let you know.